NCAA history, honoring the past, remembering the NCAA 14 team builder series from our favorite creators. I brought 10 iconic content creator teams to college football 25 and sprinkled in some of the classic players for those who knew what it was all about like ken burks and bj hale leading the pandas oh hell yeah and ryan pace and zach wilson leading the rapids ahead that's right this is a full rebuild alongside fan favorite teams and for those that were a fan of our ncaa 14 series and those who have been asking i finally reintroduce you in college football 25 the salona beach sponges Legendary names return like Adam Allen, Dylan Wave Jr., Brent Burrell, star receiver senior Brent Martin, the Alaskan speedster Kellen Buchanan, good old trusty Rock Boston, Cam Brown, two-way Gabe White, Dennis Broxton, John John, and so many more. In this new look, Big 12 will go up against Mr. Hurricane's Kalispell Warhawks, not the experts Moon Men, Dingoes, and of course, the Pandas. TNJ's Whitetails, Bordeaux's Grand Rapids Mastodons, Bengals Riverside Royals, Good Game Bros, Cascade Valley Coyotes. Couldn't find it on Team Builder, but honorable mention to Uncle Sam's Rejects, Hawaii Tech Sharks. And then I do recognize there are more teams I am missing, partly because they haven't been built in Team Builder yet, but shout out to Param Crow, Big C, and many more. Let's get this party started with the good old battle for San Diego. Man, we had so many memories against the Aztecs. You already got a sneak peek in the clip earlier but the uniforms came out so well for the Salona Beach sponges I mean just check it out we got the home the away the blackout the lime of course you can mix and mash every piece this one was a new one and I just wanted to add some flavor to it I mean check it out city connect yellow white and then the ocean wave pattern on the bottom of the helmet i love these pretty straightforward to mix and match just like we did in the good old days wow the memories are just flooding back nothing like jumping in here in the battle for san diego first play could not complete but shoot check out absorbent field man i can't get enough of how this turned out the lavender and lime is back baby and let's soak up the aztecs rudock here looking to move it down the field into danger zone Griggs with an interception on the first defensive stand. Come on, man. Let's go. Sending Sponge fans in a frenzy. Not going to spend a ton of time on every game, but man, this team celebration has just got me blushing out here. Look at this. Down 3-0. Let's see if Adam Allen can strike back. Going across to Carlisle. He holds on. In the red zone here, we have so many good options from Brent Martin, Stone Boston, and St dead he's just gonna rip it from our hands just a little confused on that last one not gonna lie so let's step up and fumble it again turnover for a moment there i was about ready to replace adam allen with dylan wave jr thankfully a lucky turn of events here gets us in to the lead and back to the goal line kellen buchanan alaskan sponge with the snag big time conversion there and now our trusty steed rock boston salona beach touchdown for the cushion rock boston only a freshman will have some good years with him excited to see the young man make a name for himself in game number one remember this is for all san diego glory no lead is too safe so brent burrell i'm gonna need you to carry us home today sir good run points right here will be costly for the aztecs to give up so their sack squad came in hot why settle for three when you got a stud in brent martin running right past the db could not even read it don't know what he was expecting but now rock boston and brent martin are back a stop right here ends the game against the aztecs huge sack and folks buckle in this rebuild is just getting started do you know what lies ahead for us we have to take on a bunch of content creator teams the rest of the way so you'll get to see whatever team is your favorite along this journey as for salona beach we claim the battle for san diego go one and oh in year number one on the recruiting front we're starting to make headway here on some of the best players like nick huber leapfrogging the ugf pandas five star gem linebacker here 86 speed and 90 excel 83 power move he's going to be a menace fingers crossed for good luck with quarterback sean washington here we need a five star or just a top notch dude to come in and be the quarterback of the future because adam allen's not going to be here forever dylan wave jr well we saw how dylan wave did in ncaa 14 and 
Unless Junior here can turn it around, I think we need another guy. Little Yazzle Dazzle here, another five-star gem linebacker will be sweet. And then Joel Kasey here, a quarterback's best friend, 97 speed, six foot four. A host of four-star players we got stock in. Snowden's one of them dudes. They say Rome wasn't built in a day, nor was Salona Beach, but Defari Rome could be the guy that builds us and takes us there. But that's enough yapping out of me. Let's go take on the UGF Pandas at the Atomo Dome. Cracking in the top 25 toughest places to play. You see that right. The Pandas got this place rocking. Because of that, Adam Allen could not convert on the first drive over the middle wow good play definitely good to see dingle jr out there let's see if he can get involved no instead that was star receiver sam mcdonald on the catch at the one yard line they're going back with dingle jr he's got it touchdown pandas oh man this team drives down the field and cashes in early adam allen thankfully has a chance here to come down the field and silence the crowd it's rock boston with a lane trudging ahead first and goal let's see if we can answer dingle jr with a little brent burrell action this is a sponge running back getting soaked on the line brother got swallowed so instead we'll have to go back to the air try to scramble no go panda's always gonna put up a fight but you can't stop hasty on this one touchdown don't think of these pandas as in their fully rebuilt phase think of them as a rebuilding unit themselves just with a hodgepodge of guys that are iconic to that series adam allen scrambled it in and we're up 14 to 7 like i said this is not like we're taking on a year number seven panda squad we'll have a good chance to hold our own didn't get enough separation there with brent martin pick six two and two sponges versus a one and two pandas team adam allen's just gonna step up and get a first let's see if adam allen can orchestrate a drive here for some points before halftime it's just great to see the Adamo dome in the game and just to be able to play the pandas what the team builder function has allowed us to do is truly incredible with 20 seconds left in the half we're gonna have to find some answers in quick we're getting sacked an awful lot maybe i can look for one-on-one -on -one separation here brent martin nope that's not gonna work we'll get it off and into the danger zone my goodness we're getting eaten alive definitely felt like we were getting forced into a tricky situation there with all the pressure the start of the fourth quarter it's not negotiable we need points right now please a one and two unit with a 25th toughest place to play that shows an awful lot about these panda fans they're gonna bring the fight every single game for their squad brent burrell couldn't convert so we're gonna go for it fourth and one either a handoff here or a slant the slant looked like it might have developed but brent fights for at least no my guy didn't make it but we do make good on a second chance here into the red zone too many blown opportunities we need something to go our way there's brent martin way to hang in there pandas chewing right through us until we found buchanan there deja vu back down into the one if only i had a trusty fullback to rely on right here i don't instead i'll have to rely on adam allen just getting red and alert third straight time i guess that says a lot about the pandas red zone defense as dingle gets another first quite frankly they're in the driver's seat and can shoot a lot of clock if they so desire dingle finishes it off second touchdown of the game pressure came in shrugging it off and calling us out man oh man we can't seem to soak up any of our opportunities right now maybe buchanan will change the tide aztecs didn't give us much of a trouble but of course the pandas are a different breed of team brent martin that's exactly why he's a star and you can count on him in the big moments touchdown just a couple plays and the sponges soak it right back up you know what man let's go for two 23 seconds left it's all on the line right here quick slant he's got it that's the lead. Surrender Cobra is coming up from the fan base here. They don't want to fall to one in three. Still have two timeouts. Can they manage with the time they have left? Got some star receivers out there. Let's see if they use them. Oh no, Gabe White for the win. Two-way extraordinaire, an NCAA 14 legend. Just sealed it with a pick six. Let's go, man. This will be a fun Salona Beach rebuild, I can tell. All love to not the expert, but for us, we're moving on to the next. Very tough task to walk in here and get it done didn't get the post game panel popping up but hey josh stock is on his way to salona beach coming with him four star gem isaiah snowden 95 speed db and can't forget about three star gem levi clay as the first three commits to the program are some real dogs cascade valley on the other hand got four guys i was looking at off to a soaking wet start we got nick huber after all he did commit the five star gem just over the pandas sean washington wasn't too far behind this stud muscle 
off in 91 throw power 80 speed oh shoot and how can i forget joel casey also made a decision 97 speed completing the trifecta three five stars on their way to salona beach pretty average year for the sponges five and four taking on grand rapids also five and four someone's about to become bowl eligible wearing the blackout to the hulu grew feel that's right these mastodons mean business but so do the sponges oh no not this again in a race for the big 12 rebuild i wonder who will come out on top as Grand Rapids looks pretty good. Obviously, Salona Beach won't be at the top for a while. We'll need a couple years to get past the Adam Allen phase and find a new one. And I guess if we're taking requests, I kind of want a whole new offensive line while we're at it. Third and 13, I'm already ice cold. And oh goodness, first drive didn't go so well. Maybe the second time is a charm. Little play action here underneath the Brent Martin. Good play, good play. Really impressed by the community for how they were able to come in here and recreate some of these amazing NCAA 14 series that we love. Fourth and 12, we're not fighting for much this season, so might as well take a shot, and it's gonna pay off. Buchanan spread the touches around. Carlisle here cuts up the middle, follows a couple blocks. Good play. Stick and nod. Rock Boston, hang in there, big guy. Could not hang on, and he's gonna need a breather after that. Brent Burrell, catch and run touch down soak them up took out the pandas and if we can take out grand rapid it took out the pandas and if we can also take out the grand rapid mastodons i'll take that as a win in my book coming right back down the field another golden opportunity hasty on the run snag and score adam allen our boy on a little roll here huh didn't think it would be long for the merchant coach bordeaux here to get his team alive we'll go ahead and throw it to vickerson but he's gonna need to do a whole lot more. Three points ain't gonna cut it, my man, especially when your secondary is getting cooked. Buchanan is just too fast. Heck, while we're here, I'll go ahead and take more points before half. That's a dump off to Brent Burrell. Look at him go, Brent. Got me reminiscing on the golden days of Salona Beach rebuilding in NCAA 14. Nothing ever really beats the first time running through it, which is why we're just doing it a tribute one full rebuild episode. The CUNA Potato Kings are our new episode by episode team builder but i got another one already lined up it's gonna be fun i guess grand rapids heard me talking smack as they came storming back into this one 25 points it's 28 25 all of a sudden bro what is ryan pace doing on the other side of the field right now i can't seem to stop him one bit after i get some more points i'll have to go check in on our guy on the other side of the field thank you buchanan we'll take those so this kind of sucks in the team builder realm i can't control depth chart i edited the roster to add guys like Ryan Pace, but they're choosing to put a lower overall atop the depth chart, which makes no sense to me because Ryan Pace is a lot better than this Hakeem guy. The reason why we're not getting our backs fully blown out right now by Grand Rapids is that, no, I just mentioned some of the edited players are not atop the depth chart, so... We're gonna have to deal with this version of the Mastodons. And heck, maybe Hakeem here is a long lost cousin of a Grand Rapids great because he's putting on a good performance in the second half. Driving all the way down here into the red zone. It's a read option, good scramble. Second and five, taking the handoff up the gut. Gonna bring the action in here on a blitz. He just ran right through it. Ah, no, we can't have that. Little Heisman pose, Mastodons tied up. Another really good game here in the Big 12. This is where we turn it up a notch. Two minutes, if we can manage the clock just right we can get points and get out of here and yeah we'll go ahead and take a wide open brent martin with some blockers ahead of him very good game from adam allen right now happy with the game he's having thus far i'm just hoping he keeps it clean until we just threw that into tight coverage grand rapids here in field goal range just gonna take a handoff fourth down we're out of timeout so i'm just gonna have to start chucking up bombs we got some of the right receivers for the job and we got a stud tight end couldn't finish my compliment because he dropped it as soon as i mentioned his name gotta let it fly here no sacks please just get it off and he came back for it absolutely love the awareness on that man usually they get lost in the sauce and don't do anything about it big sack oh no adam allen hurrying back up calling a just clear out here here. gonna snap it this could be the last play with no timeouts left let's just throw one up and we're disrupted out of field goal range it has to be a hail mary final play of the game let's just let it rip we got a couple guys down there someone no all right 
Grand Rapids stormed back and just absolutely knocked us off there. That was a comeback. Second half came alive. We fell asleep at the wheel, I suppose. That one doesn't feel too good. Final regular season game for us. We fall to five and seven, yet Kellen Buchanan takes home Big 12 honors. And that's gonna seal it, man. We won the rivalry game, but dropped it to LSU, Utah State. Michigan shut us out. Bengals Riverside Royals blew us out. And a three game losing streak to end the season, including the Moon Men and Arizona. I don't think I'm very happy with Adam Allen's production. Dylan waves at risk of transferring. So if we can convince him to stay, I think he'll be QB1 going forward. Brent Burrell, nice clip. Buchanan and and Brent Martin, the top two guys, of course. But I'm more interested to see how the rest of the content creators did. Worst passing team was the Riverside Royals. Best passing team was Wisconsin State Whitetails. Worst rushing team, Salona Beach. Best rushing team, Grand Rapids. The Moon Men scored the most amount of points per game. Not hard to see when they're leading the conference in touchdown passes. Our downfall and pain point is right here. Salona Beach gave up the most amount of points tied with UGF. We were towards the bottom in producing pressure and coming up with takeaways. So no surprise to see us down here with the Dingo. Fun little fact, we were most efficient in the red zone, but also got hurt the most from penalties. Nah, yeah, this is crazy. We gotta build better. We're the worst in turnover differential. Gonna have our work cut out for us as the Kalispell Warhawks and Cascade Valley Coyotes got ranked this season. It's a long way to the top if you want to soak and roll. Little four-star snag here going into the bowling season. Smoker out of Hawaii, they know all about the sponge ecosystem, but it just doesn't hit like Salona Beach. It's about to get gory. Mitch Gore could be the answer right here out of California. A couple beautiful snags here to finish out the season. Tyreek Fournette wins back-to-back -back Heismans. He won it as a freshman too. I only knew that because I simmed to this point to start the dynasty. Anyways, early national signing day, we lead the conference here with 14 signees, three five stars, five four stars, and six threes. Wisconsin State right on our tail. Kalispell, UGF, respectable classes. Honestly here, everyone did really well. Grand Rapids landed a five star. The only team I can kind of talk smack about are the Dingoes. Yeah, even they grabbed two four stars. Oh wait, River side strategy was to go heavy on two stars. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to help too far in the long run. Thankfully, Dylan Wave Jr. doesn't want to transfer out, but a bunch of other guys here, young guys do. We have a high chance of persuading them. I mean, they're not very high overall. So to be honest, I'm going to let these last two guys walk. It was nice having you while it lasted. Salute to Brent Martin getting selected in the fifth round. Actually, the Indianapolis Colts traded up to get the fourth round pick on Brent Martin. Kudos to them. As for our five win team, we must keep moving forward. And the portal is just not the answer this year. Only two stars want to come over. I Yes, I'll hit a couple of the needs. Training results are in OG Sponge. Cam Brown took a major leap. Our guy's up to 91 overall. I think even more impressive here is true freshman Sean Washington. He has a case to start day one. Mitch Gore will be a quality backup. I guess Dylan Wave Jr. will keep biding his time. Fanu Head's gonna be deserving of a lot ahead after the games this season with an elite dev trade. And if not in year one, he will get his chance very soon. Brent, in the meantime, has the load. With Brent Martin leaving, Buchanan steps up. Sean Tassant takes a leap, but how about six foot four star Casey waiting in the wings? Just want to highlight Smoker here was a four star bust and he turned out quite all right. Tyrone Foxworth, 78 overall normal dev. Miles Whitfield also on the defensive line. Put some stock in Josh Stock. Levi Clay, three star gem find here, elite dev. And then we already knew Nick Huber was packing. All things considered, this was a tremendous year one recruiting class. In due time, they will be the stars of the show, the ones to bring us a natty. Unless we just say heck and shock the world against this schedule. We'll have more tough content creator matchups this season. I guess for getting five wins, we were rewarded with a half star prestige boost. And now that we found our board with guys like Tyler Virgin, those extra hundred points are gonna come mega handy. If we can get our hands on Stingley, it's over for the rest of the league. 95 throw power, 87 speed, a generational quarterback. A little Stingley to hope connection, I wouldn't complain. One and two, not the ideal start to the season. Now we gotta go face on Cascade Valley. Looks like Whitaker here has been able to take this team in the right direction so kudos to them but he's not going to be able to do nothing on this play. Defense has been the name of the game for us as our offense is stuttering with a true freshman quarterback. A holding penalty brings them back here. It's going to be a tough hill to climb. The all-lime alternates are an eyeful to look at, so I'm counting on that to be the difference for our defense. That's right. I'm putting faith in a uniform combination to be an X factor. A pair of field goals here for the Coyotes. And now Sean Washington. Let's see what you got, Freshie. Hidden your guy, Rock Boston. That's a good start. If you want to sustain a drive, you look for that man. And what do you know? We look for him again out of reach. Definitely was a fan of the idea, except we can't just escape this one. The Coyotes are howling, man. I can't get much 
going our way. Just got to trust the process when you have a true freshman quarterback. Eventually, he'll make his stride. Well, fourth down, we're cold, so might as well try something out here. Why did Boston just run a mile outside? All right, I usually take blame for picks, but come on now. They did me dirty. Excuse me here, Rock. You're supposed to cut upfield, not bump off a corner and run out of bounds and then circle back. Ugly stuff from Washington. Maybe we do need a guy like Stingley to come in here, compete for the job, maybe give us a fresh look at quarterback because right now... Even with these points, I'm not very happy. Can count on Buchanan, I know that much. Third and four, halfback draw. Yep, another first down. Icing this one out already. Going into the fourth quarter, they've been giving us a handful fits, offense and defense. Opting for three points at their one yard line, I probably would have gone for it. But I guess that's why they're winning and we're not. Maybe Washington's got some ice in his veins, more of a fourth quarter comeback type quarterback because he's marching right down the field here on the opening drive of the fourth quarter. Gonna take his slant across the middle for a touchdown. Think are moving quickly. Washington's back out here on the field yet again. He can step up and make a play of his own. Look at that run. Wasting no time rushing everyone back to the line. It's Rock Boston. First and goal. He was reliable back then. He's reliable now. Goal to go scenario here. A little zig for Rock. Just gonna go the wrong direction. Gonna keep our eyes open to the field. Running back looks to be slipping through. We got him. It's Brent Burrell. That was a great route. Next thing you know, it's all tied up, but there's a lot on the line. Third and 15. Handoff. Taken down. They're gonna settle for three. Got ourselves a little bit of a ball game. I thought we were actually out of it, but that's why you never count out the sponges. Tony Hawk has invested a lot in his team. Remember, he put in his own money. He put in his Wow, I thought that man was walking away with the ball. But yes, Tony Hawk put in all of the scrub daddy sponges to give to fans. Remember, they were excited to bring home a sponge of their own as they got acclimated. Now, Salona Beach is all about their spongies as Cascade Valley wants to come back and win. Truly a disappointing showing here from the 13th ranked team to let these guys come back in. It's all hands on deck right now as they have something working. Cooking up something in the kitchen. They're tearing our zone defense apart until Gabe White, a hero, once more ices it. Salona Beach is going to be victorious. It's a beautiful day when you can knock off a top-ranked opponent. Good game, bro. Absolutely bad game, bro. Here on the recruiting front, Virgin commits to Tech. And we lost Cummins. Stingley, too, both gone to the Ducks. We literally had the lead until that last week. I'm so salty that I'm going to recruit visits ASAP on everyone else that we're battling it out with. I'm always a little hesitant because I don't know the science, but I'm going to hard sell even with a C. I'm really about to lose another guy to Oregon. Man, I'm so salty and not because Sean Washington just had a player of the week performance against the Pandas, but because we were in the lead for so many guys like Enrique Canada, but we lost our top five targets. I can't stay mad for too long. We did bring a few in. Lovelace looks like one of the most ready defensive linemen I've seen in my day 84 speed 88 finesse move let's build the front line with alejandro mcqueen and then right back to the defensive line well last five star worth calling out here matt zama 91 throw power 90 speed platinum extender i like that ability on my qbs because they can break sacks so i'm gonna enjoy this man at the helm darn cascade valley though again taking the guys i have my eyes on for the hope brothers nazir commits to cascade valley and tevin is coming to salona beach we got one of the two bros both are gem prospects looking to take my salt out here on the death valley dingoes another not the expert classic these guys are one in six which is surprising an 85 overall team on paper you'd think they would do a whole lot better slip screen to brent burrell he's a safety valve good choice here to get some yards back gonna go ahead and call up a deep flood and oh my goodness a strip sack. The star offensive lineman we just recruited can't get here any sooner. Dingo's hurrying back up to the line on third and eight, running a fast tempo unit here just to hand it off. It's gonna get stopped short. They're mean, they're risky, they're going for it. Taking control of Huber here. This is the five star. He got bottled up on the offensive line and he stopped nonetheless. Great defense there, holding them up at the goal line. And now we'll go to work and try to get some points. Play action, gonna hit this comeback route. No, Dingo defense disrupting at every angle. Just cannot keep letting that slide. Let's go ahead and connect. Through the couple games we've seen, there are clearly still issues in year two for the sponge 
challenges. Getting some good power on these kicks. We're two for two on field goals. But shoot, man, I don't want to be stuck in field goal land for the rest of this game. Let's see if we can squeak by the dingoes here, scrambling out to our right. Ah, oh, man, what a pesky group of defenders, man. I'm telling you. Kennedy, though, hey, first down. Six seconds left, five. We're going to try to snap this off quickly before we go into half. Taking it to Buchanan land. We're out of time. Death Valley has the lead, and it's just dry out here. You can't get much atmosphere to squeeze your sponges. Need more moisture. I'm telling you, man. Let's go to Rock Boston. He's the right guy to get a rally going. Well, why not let it fly to Buchanan? Yes, he just had that press pro kind of cut ability it just takes one big strike to make a difference just like it takes one big disruption to mess us up let's see if we can chew some clock and get on out of here not the cleanest brand of football but hey if we can get a win a win is a win last thing we want to do is fall victim to a one and six squad and remember weren't the dingoes like the worst recruiting class as well these guys could be stuck in a world of pain for a while to come third and inches we're gonna go ahead and just dump it down here to toussaint and that's going to be it. Successful operation. Head comes in for a snap, but no action for head in this one. That's going to be ball game. We'll take a little win here over Death Valley State. Like I said, it was ugly, but hey, a win's a win. We're just going to go one baby step at a time. A few more commits here at the end of the season, like gem receiver Coco Soto, Oscar Whitehart, and Zion Westbrook. We need all the help we can get because this was dreadful. Four and eight was the finish. That's right. Year two did not treat us well. We had the worst record besides the dingoes. Rank Ranked 24th, Kalispell did well. Ranked 11th, the Moon Men came through. And wow, okay, Grand Rapids, 8th ranked in the nation. Going into championship weekend, it looks like Grand Rapids is going to snag the 10th seed. Not really sure what's in the air right now, but a bunch of underclassmen keep walking away with trophies. Maybe one day a sponge can do the same and walk away with hardware, but Washington had a rough freshman campaign. In the Big 12, Riverside was the worst passing team again. Wisconsin State was the best. Sponges could not rush. Riverside could. Surprised to see Wisconsin State putting up 36.2 points per game as well as the Sharks putting up 33 points per game but the two highest scoring teams weren't ranked which my hypothesis was correct it was all about the defense getting these units in the game the white tails popped off 17 four stars the fifth best class in the nation I feel pretty good about the 15th best class here four more five stars we keep bringing in the talent on the playoff front Grand Rapids won their first game against Cincinnati before getting knocked out in the Rose Bowl to UCLA Georgia took it all home 20 to 17 and we have to turn our attention to the offseason in year three prep our coach prestige is going down and man i'm scared we're gonna lose our five stars here what the heck that right there seals it these are some good players especially nick huber and there's nothing we can do to convince him he's sick and tired of our shenanigans again i'm not too familiar with the transfer portal either and why sometimes i'm rebuilding a school i only get like one prospect johnny moach in this instance but in other instances i'll have access to a lot of four stars despite success successful seasons from Grand Rapids and Wisconsin State they're losing some good players ain't no way Nick Huber's only a three star what the heck he was 80 overall successful couple weeks leapfrog us into the top five training results have us up to an 86 overall going into year three it's about that time we start to see the fruits of our labor Sean Washington off to a screaming start head threatening Brent for the job Kellen Buchanan here has one of the glitchiest abilities that I personally like in a receiver platinum press pro you beat that one-on-one -on -one every single time so if you're gonna run an all go if you're gonna run a man coverage you might want to think twice against kellen smoker is a rising case of overcoming the odds here four star bust he's up to a 91 with ability boosts secondary is full of sophomore seniors sophomore seniors sophomores as much as i appreciate washington hitting the gym i think i gotta go with matt here in this next season a true freshman is a star and fan favorite already coco soto here is insane elite dev six foot five with speed and 90 spec catch lightning mcqueen no alejandro mcqueen to various himes and James Lovelace, they're crazy. But they both have pro potential deal breakers, so we might lose them after just one season. I don't know, man. We might need to send a sponge to the pros. Someone to rescue us and give us hope because look, our elite safety also has the same deal breaker. That is an awful scary player risk board. The Kalispell Warhawks have been building a nice little team here, 87 overall across the board, but they come into our house. It's wet, it's rainy. We're soaking up all the moisture in the atmosphere right here. We'd like rain sponges soak it up so let's go ahead and channel that energy here against the warhawks 
fourth down. Better yet, we have our true freshman Azuma and the City Connect uniforms in full effect. It's well known, you look good, you feel good, you play good. Let's hope that can become more of a reality in this one. It's been a low scoring and tough. Gotta remember Buchanan's got that press pro ability and there it goes, it activated as I called it out. So of course, we're gonna feed him. Appreciate the pick up there, Buchanan. Now, Brent, I want you to run wild, relentless. We'll go ahead and give some head here. Hand off up the middle. There we go. Good run. Just might be the tandem for the future. You never know. Azuma and head seem like a good one-two punch as he dumps it out to Carlisle up the middle he got it defense selling us just a little bit Kalispell's is already two and two we are two and one we want to stay on the winning side of things here oh buchanan my alaskan bullworm inject that icy sponge water through your veins can you feel it i can feel it and so can beanie man wearing a beanie in san diego is a statement i get it's raining but like come on bro that is definitely uh a little out of the equation in my opinion heck says the guy wearing a hood right now in texas i mean shoot i guess i can't really speak can i i'm indoor though it's ac control for the san diego fan there he's out here at the game warhawks with a monster 20 yard sack now we're gonna have to go ahead and respond lobbing one up to carlisle no good good defensive stand here the lefty kicker does he have enough juice on it Negative. Time to test your metal, kid. Azuma, no bigger scenario than this. Just take off. Go ahead and do it all by yourself. Game-changing speed here from Azuma. Scrambling back out to the right. What did I just say? Game changer. Sean Washington's gonna look mighty good on the bench because I can't get away from Azuma. On a side note, what do you think of the City Connect unis? I just went ahead and added those for fun. They weren't in the OG build as Fong is gonna ice this one out. So the City Connects, good luck for the home fans. They're gonna be happy that they sat through the rain in this one. 31-27, soak them up, soak them up, SBU. Tip of the cap to Matt. After the big game, some prospective recruits made it official and became a sponge. Eric Reynoso, five-star gem, 93 speed, 94 agility. I'm excited to bring this dude into the mix. What about Nick Bettis on the defensive line? I mean, we're in danger of losing some to the portal, so this guy would step right in for us. His deal breaker was brand exposure and he should be fine in San Diego. A couple more big defensive linemen like Rashawn Willie and Angel Komar, where things are looking good. Do a little hard sell, soft sell combo, usually elite stuff there to wrap up a recruit. Gonna lose out on Jamarcus Seaman and more than likely to Quan. Must have been a little late to the draw with the visit because I don't think there's much to save the situation. I can't get over this Matt Azuma kid. Six more touchdown passes against the Pandas. We'll keep on chugging through year three with a matchup against Wisconsin State. The Whitetails, they're ranked. They're 89 overall across the board. They've been rebuilding very well. Out to a quick start, 7-0. There is a lot of pressure to perform here. Threatening at the red zone here. Their third and five attempt is successful, so they're tying it up. Azuma here gets to check in with one of his big five-star receivers that he's had his eye on for a while. It's Casey, and he's in. Touchdown. Sponges are getting well-equipped. Like you see in the record down below, 4-1 and one in our third season. I think that's a pretty successful turnaround. Now, heck, it's far from over, and there's a lot of work to do. I mean, Whitetails are 4-1 and one themselves. These guys are atop the conference every single year in points per game and it's not slowing down this year either they just put one in and look at all the whitetail fans erupt i really do think highly of our young gun quarterback i'm excited for him to take us to the promised land like he's only a true freshman and he's been big 12 player of the week multiple times at this point it's gonna be sad the day we lose buchanan in his press pro ability here because we could really use that on this fourth down let's see if they're pressing up on him they are but he can't seem to get the ability to lock in so azuma is off to the races every now and then you get a quarterback like this and you can tell they're gonna go pro it's just a matter of time overcoming a tough stadium pulse he'll step up again man he's like a lamar jackson on thursday night 11 attempts for 65 rushing yards he's definitely keeping the chains moving making smart decisions if nothing opens up it doesn't make sense to just force it into danger wisconsin state playing some really efficient defense but you're not going to stop rock boston now that we're at the one yard line let's just jet touch our way home bingo touchdown whitetails do not want to be upset here on their home turf fourth down conversion fourth and three it's been a successful drive can they cap it off no stop short defense rose to the occasion and now let's go ahead and run this rock down their throat it's a bird it's a plane no it's a jet touch no it's a play action what's it gonna be who's gonna get open rock boston 
rocking it. I don't think everyone realizes just how clutch that carry really was by Rock. Now that the two minute warning is here, we're focused on burning all their timeouts with run after run after run. Brent Burrell, ice in his veins. That's gonna be the ball game. Soak them up, Salona Beach fans. Yeah, I have no explanation for this garbage. They score a touchdown and an onside kick attempt. I don't know what's going on. Now let's go ahead and clamp down here. Keep it all in front of us, folks. Third and 10, 10 seconds left. I don't want no funny business. You're serious. Well, that's officially insane. I just have to trust the Alaskan sponge to maybe get a step. We're going OT. This is bogus, man. I thought we had it on wraps after Brent carried us home on the last drive. This is exactly why the Whitetails are a high scoring team because they know how to cash in when it matters most. With a minute something left, they somehow did it. It's impressive, it really is. Not taken away from that, but I do need this touchdown. Thank you, sir. Rock Boston, my Boston there. A hero on offense, but defense, where are thou? Double overtime, Wisconsin State scored, so they get a chance again to do it back to the well for and goal. Star under his name, the running backs carrying a lot of totes here at the end, and they're up. Even worse, they got their two-point conversion, so now we have to go extra hard to finish it off, and first play lurked. White Tails survived beating us 53-45. Despite the loss against the White Tails, it's turning out pretty well. Six and two, taking on a seven and one Sharks team. And as you can tell, this Sharks team was meant to represent Hawaii Tech and Unk Squad, but I couldn't find it in the game. I mean, I guess they technically got their own FCS squad. Squad. The developers already have that tribute to the Sharks. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one short. No need to belabor it as they go right over the middle. As we'll go ahead and let the Sim take over. Like I said, the Sharks are having a really good season. They're 7-1. and one. They're ranked. Sponges, though, not to be counted out. It's all tied up here at half. Let's go ahead and go into the fourth quarter, folks. Sponges have the lead. Are you wet? Are you soaked? Are you squishing and scrunching and are you using the scrub daddy all right i had nothing else to really say we hold on for the win started rambling there got a little out of pocket but matt azuma was on point on his game year three a huge leap in the right direction salona beach is finally ranked we took out the sharks lost to grand rapids again these mastodons have our number down to the moon men before taking out arizona and now getting a big 12 championship bid to rematch against wisconsin state before the big 12 championship we get to celebrate with gem four-star center james gentry unfortunately losing brian burton to louisville i'm worried about a ragtag bunch with so many guys wanting to transfer so if at all possible we'd like to win the big 12 championship and compete now letting the sim take control here wisconsin state as we've seen is a very tough out so i hope we can hang in there so far trading blows back in fourth it's a 21 17 ball game very tight very close and now Wisconsin State starting to take away until the fourth quarter. We get the lead right back. Come on now. This is going down to the wire. Ain't no way championship dropped it by a two-point conversion. Another phenomenal performance was no match for the Whitetails. We'll go ahead and see how our sponges do against the Golden Gophers in the Independence Bowl. But it definitely wasn't the type of bowling we wanted to do. We could have been in Wisconsin State spot right here with the four seed. Wow, that's crazy for the Whitetails. Old Dominion 12 seed takes them down before losing to LSU. You. Now that the season for the Big 12 is officially over, let's reflect. Matt Azuma, 46 touchdown passes, 9 and 3,600 yards. That is exactly what we needed. Hey, yo, 700 more yards and four touchdowns on the ground. Why didn't this dude win Heisman? Spreading it out to Buchanan, Toussaint, and Carlisle. Isaiah Snowden with three interceptions. He's coming along. Eight sacks from Lawton. Good old John John, not like prime NCAA 14 John John. This one's getting hurt and only racking up two sacks. Total offense, Salona Beach got the nod, and our rushing attack was on point. Unfortunately for Riverside, they continue to struggle on the offensive side of the ball, going 0-12 this year time to fire the shop and restart total defense goes to the mastodons as we improved in the takeaway department as well as finally generating some pressure matt azuma didn't win heisman but he got first team all american as a freshman and i gotta give it up to kane and i gotta give it up to kane from the white tails first team all american running back first team all american right tackle only other content creator representation moon men russ canty time for coach sponge to roll up his sleeves and bust out the persuasion tactics let's start off with oscar whitehart it works. But now the two guys I'm really hoping for, no pun intended, let's give it a go on hope. Dog. Lovelace, even less of a chance. Five-star product here. Come on, baby. Stay with me. Stay with me. 
Yes, we needed that pressure on the line. All things considered, it could have been much worse. And thankfully, the transfer portal gives us at least one to two options that are worth considering. Jumping a full star in prestige. Let's try to get our hands on Larry Henderson. And Kirby Knighton could be a good depth piece. Another top 10 signing class, but Grand Rapids continues to snap. Fourth best class. Wisconsin State remains strong with the 10th best. All the creator teams looking competitive out here. A lot of top notch quality classes coming in. Even the Dingoes in Riverside stepped it up a little bit. I spy a lot of 90s going into year four. Could this year finally be the year after a 10 and four campaign? 90 overall, 91 defense. We got Texas here at Absorbent Field. We'll jump in and finally see what the 0 and 12 Royals are about. This stretch is going to be tough with the Coyotes, Sharks, and Whitetails before finishing up with the Dingoes, Mastodons, and a visit to the moon. The foundation is clearly in place. We just need to keep building it. We want the sponges to have a pipeline that goes for ages. Build it and they will come. Solana Beach is about that life. Ryan Kaufman ain't about it. Speaking of those that are about it, Eric Reynoso, Javante Merrill, 98 speed, Bam Cam Stewart, Revis Island, tight end edition, James Gentry, Rashawn Wiley, ready to wild out, Angel Komar right behind him. Did I already talk about Eric Maramosa? Can't forget our crown gem, the quarterback, 90 overall. With how loaded our team is, they really sleeping on us in first team selections. Cam Brown, the only sponge. Second team, it's all about Matt and Dom. Preseason, pick to finish second i think we can shock a team or two off to a quick four and O start here taking care of business before squeak went out against tulsa i'm just surprised riverside is three and two so congrats bangle your team has a few wins one of the last teams we check out and definitely not least i'm excited to play the royals back at the old absorbent field matt is leading his team to a four and O start as soto got loose forget cuckoo for cocoa puffs i'm coco for soto puffs man no matter what we do with this offensive line i feel like we still get stuffed riverside royals bringing in the pressure stuffing us like an ice cream sandwich going across the middle it's toussaint we have some certified players out here when it comes to receivers we have options for days brent burrell here in his senior season at running back want a good one out of him we're pretty set behind brent burrell so i'm not too worried about it rock boston just as much our old friend here is a senior now so we're gonna go ahead and send him out in style clearly past the line of scrimmage but yeah all being said we're a deep team as a rock Boston got me rock hard with that touchdown quickly up seven zip that's fitting for the fifth best team in the nation Riverside breaks free on this dump off to 36 he's rumbling to first and goal quarterback Huff is a freshman out of Georgia looks like he is the answer this team has been needing leading him to three wins already tore down shop and looking to get him back to true Riverside glory I truly think Salona Beach has it either this year or next to be a championship caliber team I feel pretty comfortable getting it done within the five-year window little miss field goal here golden opportunity for our guys to capitalize just throw that thing away baby no buchanan no brent martin this team's definitely turned a leaf but we got so many other dudes i've mentioned it a couple times but guys like soto guys like kase guys that are like 10th in the depth chart have speed and a place here on this team. Let's go ahead and find one of those guys like Soto. Burns his man over the top, a little over the shoulder. Boom, touchdown. Truly feels special to get our team back to this position. I remember the glory days in NCAA 14 very well, which is exactly why I'm doing this dang thing so we can relive and have some fun with it. All right, Riverside, I can appreciate the fact that you have three wins. That's a step up, but you guys need help on defense. Don't sweat it too much. Salona Beach is all that in a box of chocolates this year. Bingo, Kase. Our offense is next level, but still, yeah, work on a secondary and, and some other things back there. Having those two-star props prospects starting to develop it's not panning out probably all that great i think the coaching change was a good start all being said but no one in the secondary wants to play today i feel like i could practically call anything and uzama is going to be running around like it's a playground out here no matter what the call is winding down the end of the first half look at uzama make some magic happen first down determination without a doubt it's clear he's a fan favorite he just makes all the right reads and finds all the right guys little mountain west matchup here between salona beach and riverside i apologize to the royals this is their last chance for anything garbage time and all right into cam brown the senior linebackers hands that's gonna seal it five nine calls game coach sponge and philip rivers our assistant you know we're really enjoying this campaign jumping ahead after that riverside game we dropped 
won the Cascade Valley, took it out on the Sharks, losing a fluke matchup to the Dingoes, finally getting our way with Grand Rapids. Now it's time for the Moon Men. Not sure how well sponges squish up on the moon, but we're about to find out. The moon looks awfully interesting up here. I guess in college football 25, it's black turf. Nonetheless, these moon men are aggressive and they're going right on down the field. It almost feels like the Boise State disadvantage that we're wearing black unis out here on the black turf. That's crazy. Moon men having a good season so far, six and four. Dropped a couple interesting ones as I noted earlier, but we're eight and two. Still ranked 15th in the nation. I think there's a lot of good to be taken away from all this, but not very excited to see that spin move just take all of our defense out. Jet, touch, pass. You already know the drill. Let's see if we can hit the edge. Good enough. A tough place to play, especially with black turf. I don't think our quarterback's phased with that ball to Tucson. Every game matters right now with the Big 12 championship looming large. We want to get in there and get our team into the playoffs. Final seconds winding down here. The first quarter, just trying to step up, make it happen. Houston Jewel on that last stop. Houston, we have a problem. Fourth and goal. Time to make something happen. And yeah, easy peasy. Kasey touchdown. They're about to be calling Houston because they're about to have a problem. They scored on the first one. We're going to answer back with two touchdowns of our own. Who let the floodgates out? I'm telling you. Once we start, we just can't stop. So be warned. Wow. Wow. From both ends. Holding on. Impressive shedding there by the quarterback and impressive receiving there from the receiver. Oh, skirt, skirt with a boost. Dude just jetted out of there like a rocket so that's how we feeling and that's the type of energy we're bringing out here huh a really good game here on the moon i think the big difference it's all the stars on the offensive line they got one at both tackles and the center that's huge and it does wonders for a team breaking free and scoring the game leading touchdown go ahead six for rocket city now i'm forced to gather the troops and go back to work we need a touchdown of our own maybe a two-point conversion if we want to get frisky let's just start with cashing in i think that's most important second and six nothing really panning out there so we'll step up like we usually do in the pocket making a play scramble drill clutch running there and the scramble continues he's been doing it all drive long putting the sponges on his back it's raining on the moon we're getting a little extra squish and you can start to feel it what did i say you can start to feel the squish just absorb through your spongy body because with two minutes left we have a chance to win it and who doesn't want to win it when they're on the moon that's pretty freaking cool no need to rush a steady dose of handoffs and pass will just suffice as we get all the yards we needed i think it's time we go ahead and choose some clock brent burrell carry me home up the gut again it's brent taking it for third inches once more that'll do it man first down in danger zone a win here will put us at nine and two and heck let's just go ahead and make a run this year we have seniors like brent and rock boston they want to ring so if everyone's on board with that we'll go ahead and do all we can hand off up the middle we got it at the one yard line i think we can go ahead and run at least one play here before using our last timeout. jet touch pass that'll ensure it's done heading back home from the moon victorious 42 35 i'm getting off used to seeing his name aren't you glad we kept lovelace it's paying dividends now three sacks and player of the week heck that's national player of the week honors are you serious right now sharks and coyotes in the championship game we just missed out wow heisman winner to christian freeman at a cascade valley big ups to him and it's a first round playoff matchup against louisville they had me on the edge of my seat but that was only for the first quarter second half's gone in our favor as long as we don't let this man take it all the way back Thank you. Ever since we came alive, Louisville has gone dormant. Maybe that last sack was the spark they needed. Led to three more points, but it's getting a little late out here, guys. Don't you think? Azuma, come on now. Go. Stepping up a big way there. Let's sprint out to the right here. He's got a step. Let's find Casey in stride first and goal. They just really have not had an answer against us today, and I don't think they'll have an answer just up the gut. All right. You know what? Maybe they did. How about second time's a charm? There it is. Wow. It's actually impressive to me how much of a dumpster fire this one became. Outside of the first half, as mentioned, they disappeared. And Salona Beach never slowed down. I guess you're just playing for pride at this point. 
point because this one's been a long over and forcing bad decisions all across the board. A well-needed tune-up, 45-17. We got bigger fish to fry. I believe Ohio State's next. That's exactly who it is, Buckeyes, Sponges, Orange Bowl. Across the bracket, we can see that the Sharks lost in a close one to Michigan, so it's up to Cascade Valley to hold them off. We're doing this one for the city of Salona Beach. Buckeye fans, brace yourself. Carnivorous sponges on the loose. Wearing the city connects bright and proud today. We're going to find an open receiver on third down, get into the red zone. Just the momentum of scoring first is huge. For all the Lyman Lavender out there in the stands, I see y'all. We're going to show out and represent for all of y'all back home. Now, Ohio State's trying to complicate that, but nothing a quick little strike to the corner can't solve. Rock Boston, you're a big man in more ways than one. All I'm saying is he came through clutch when we needed him, so expect me to continue to call his name all day long. Heck, he might just be the Ohio State repellent we need. Can never keep the Buckeyes down for too long. They're going with a little play action here over the middle. That looked really contested. So while they take their three, we're going to take our touchdowns. Am I right? Deep third and goal taken off to the right. Let's just go ahead and step into this. Pretty fourth and manageable if you ask me. Looking, surveying Soto across the middle. Not enough. When second chances come knocking, we must answer. Offense doing all right, but I got to give a hats off to the defense, keeping the number one team in the nation off balance. Not the easiest assignment, but we got a blown coverage walk-in touchdown for Casey. What you can say in about that one? This is literally all the inspiration we need as a team to just dominate right now against a number one seed. We go ahead and continue to dominate and not choke this fourth quarter to Ohio State. We'll be in good company. I wouldn't be worried about any else the rest of this way if we're able to pull this off clearly a big if we're struggling right now and that touchdown brings them within one defense just got annihilated there fourth down after fourth down this is exactly what i'm talking about got to end this game not let them back in they're calling timeouts they're doing all this fancy jazz let's audible to a pass they're assuming a run is coming i can almost guarantee it could not escape defense 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 they flip the script in just a play or two it's back to the offense now in the driver's seat we can actually run the clock out they're out of timeouts victory formation final knee down good game came back and made it close but we're moving on man oh man michigan had their way with two creator teams coyotes were next to fall sorry michigan fans but i'm hikey rooting for syracuse i'd like to see them win their matchup and get to the natty our focus is on the sugar bowl against alabama there she is a hungry carnivorous group of sponges that's what awaits alabama their tide can't handle our sponges to prove it to you we drove right down the field and are gonna cash in real quick real fast now i get it alabama's like what one of the most storied programs in collegiate history. Old Nick Saban, the goats, all of the lore, all of the tradition, not gonna matter today. Cause this new kid on the block is here to stay. One of the only ways I can feel safe is if we score a lot before they get anything. Rock Boston better stay rock hard all game long. We're gonna need his contributions in a big way. And here they come. They have broken the seal technically. It's a three pointer, not a touchdown but that on the run throw, less juice, less accuracy picked. Crucial mistake in a big game, but our running back, Brent Burrell, should just be faster than any of these DBs back here, shrugging them off. I like it like that. Hey, windows down, driving with the thingy thing on. I don't know what the lyrics are. What I do know is that Ozma's feeling himself in this sponge offense is just the real deal. Toussaint making everyone miss. Touchdown, I'm in love. Salona Beach, that's my beach. Don't wanna stay on the beach right now though. We need to play some football. They're only down by eight before Whiteheart just went the distance. Cross country sprint right there. Flying down that thing like a 100 meter dash. Now it's fourth and one and suddenly they're stopped and in bad position. Alabama, what's going on? 15 point deficit, oof, man, could it not be me. In these big playoff games, we just take any points. Three more, 18 point lead. That's three possession. Two minutes left in the game, it's third down. We can end it right here with a pass to Rock Boston. What a stud muffin. That became a lot closer than we would like to see. Thankfully, Salona Beach got it done. Never kind of Alabama, but we steamed right ahead. The Syracuse Orange delivered beating Michigan, and it all comes down to this. A final hoedown, showdown, Syracuse, Salona Beach, Orange Spongies, Unite. Man, this has just been so much fun. I hope you enjoyed the team builder 
content creator team concept as it just felt right to give my Salona Beach sponges a tribute, sort of like a thank you for all that you've done in NCAA 14 and welcome to College Football 25. Remember, this is available for download on the Creation Center. Check out the description for the username designed and developed by yours truly. Now look at the orange. What are they doing all the way out here in the national championship game? It's a pleasant sight and trust me, I'm not mad about it. I think this game can be a whole lot more interesting than the traditional Michigan battle. We see Michigan an awful lot. Those guys were champs IRL just this last fall. So who needs more of those guys? Let's check out the orange in action. One of these teams will be victorious and one of these teams will be hosting up the trophy. I feel pretty good about Salona Beach. We already held up the orange bowl earlier in this playoff run. So I think that's a good omen taking on the orange. First drive, establishing some rhythm here. Little play action. He's open. It's Kasey, first and goal. Again, another year, I think this was Matt Azuma getting close to the Heisman, but no cigar. We saw Cascade Valley's QB take it home, but trust me, our quarterback here at Salona Beach is a otherworldly specimen. Third down, let's go ahead and stop the orange on defense. Dang it slipped right through. If you're making the national championship, you obviously got stars, but they got a star offensive line as well as star quarterback running back tandem. No receivers that I noticed, so that's interesting to note. Low scoring defensive affair, gonna go over the middle. That field general ability highlighted the blitz. Truly, really clutch when it comes down to picking up open spots of the field. Let's get him out to his right, sprinting, surveying, just take off. Stepping up, stepping up, gone again. Again, this time, so much space. Blitz coming in. I can see it. I can feel it. Flag, PI. Yup. Penalties are costly, but in the national championship game, gotta get those out the system, my friend. Has Azuma looking like Lamar Jackson. Just zip in out. That's right. We all know what time it is. Put a ring on it. With a minute to go, you're really gonna press up on our running back like that? He will outrun you. Come on. Did you seriously not watch the film against Alabama? We did the same to their DB room. They tried going up against our running back. And let's just say it didn't work out very well for them at all. They're lucky. They hold us to three this time. It could have been worse. Don't know what happened to my game, but it crashed. I hate to be that guy, but I'm going to jump in now and let the sim determine our fate. One quarter at a time until the fourth quarter. It's just not fair that we got done dirty. Had the national championship just in our reach and it looks like the sim thinks so too well this is truly incredible 52 17 that's better than when we were actually playing it before our game crashed i think it confirms with an exclamation point that salona beach has been rebuilt and done right in just four years really impressive turnaround over here ever since year three came up it was smooth sailing unlike the barrage right now our quarterback is facing from syracuse's defensive line he escapes and he is gone all the way looks like he was stopped just inches short. We'll go ahead and dump it out to Carlisle and take it home. Trust me, I know his name's Carlisle. I like to say Carlisle. Feels better off the tongue, if you know what I mean. Well, I'm sorry to all the Syracuse Orange Nation out there, because this is it. I could just stand here and chew the clock. But what kind of fun is that? Let's make it a little more interesting. RPO, yes, flag on the play. That's probably illegal motion or legal man downfield. Just straight up holding. Now the clock is stopped. It's fourth and 11, but I don't care. I love it. And on that final note, Salona Beach is bringing home the national championship game. We've done it before in the NCAA 14 iteration, but man, it feels so good to get it done here in college football 25. Besides that last matchup against Alabama, I felt like the run was pretty decisive. It was unfortunate. It got jeopardized when the console shut us down with an error, but hey, jumping back in, the sim got us right. And Matt got right in a major way. What a game to have in the final one. In the national championship, it doesn't get better than that, sir. And so I hope you've been soaking it up with your boy King Sponge. Keep it here for all your college football 25 juicy content and sending them off in this content creator edition off with a bang. I'll catch you right here in the next one.